Welcome to the dream world. Where your dreams are interpreted by Pastor Aaron Motebi. On the dream line. Welcome to the dream world. Where I'm ready straight away interpreting your dreams for today. The first dream is coming from Linda. Pastor, this is Linda. I had a dream. My friends and I were praying. In the course of praying, a snake came. And one of my friends beat it, but it didn't die. And I got a stick to beat it, but it entered into my private part. I woke up and prayed about it. Thank you, Pastor. Linda, Linda. dreaming of snakes is not very good. Regardless where the snake went. Whether in the house, whether in the kitchen, whether in your clothes, whether anywhere, dreaming of snakes is not good. It is a sign of unproductivity. Uh -huh. It can be so unproductive in business, unproductive. But, but even in the production of itself. So snakes in the Bible represents witchcraft. And many times when you see, there is only one time in the Bible when Jesus appraises snakes. Only one instance. The rest of in the Bible snakes are referred to as devil or devil's agents. Sign of sorcery and enchantment and witchcraft. But it is only a place where Jesus said be wise as snakes. That is the only place Jesus praised the snake. So these are spirits of witchcraft roaming in your family, in your clan. I just rise up and fight them. Of course we shall fight with you, Linda. Linda, we are with you. In Jesus' name. The next dream is coming from Daniel. Daniela, Daniela or Daniel. Good morning, Pastor. I'm Daniel. I dreamt in 2018 May at 5.03 a.m. It's like I have been looking for a house with some friends. Then we came into a certain house. I found myself alone in the house looking at the house. It painted, it's painted white outside. So I entered into the house and it was also painted white. The rooms of shape, the rooms of sh the rooms are of shape of half moon. They were of medium size. I decided to look around. Then I went upstairs. The stairs were leading to up the sky. Eh, mama. I tried to look. Then I saw heaven open with very bright light and snow like, which I can't allow my eyes to see it clearly. It was very beautiful though. Then when I left the house, I moved around the compound and I could see the statues of Jesus in the compound, those ones like for church. Then I woke up. It, it remained as a mystery to me. I tried to tell some people, but they didn't understand the dream. Hope God will use you to interpret what it means, servant of God. And may, may, the, may God bless you and add you more wisdom and understanding to carry out his work. Interpretation of dreams is not very difficult. It is not very difficult. First of all, you just have to be faithful that you are ready not to lie to the dreamers because you are not expecting anything from them. Secondly, you just ask, ask the Holy Spirit to give you guidelines. Guidance. You ask for wisdom and knowledge. Dream are very easy to be interpreted because there are only three types of dreams godly dreams demonic dreams and vain dreams now for your dream uh, uh, Daniela your dream is about reminding you about your working out of your salvation 
Uh, Philippians say, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. So your dream is in relationship to John chapter 14 verse 1 to 3. Where Jesus said, Let your heart not be troubled. Believe in God and also believe in me. In my Father's house, there are many mansions. And I go to prepare places for you. So your dream is just a recurrent of John chapter 14, verse 1 to 3. Whatever you saw there, the house, it is there. And uh, friends will be there with you. The house painted with white. Uh, the rooms of a shape of a moon. Medium sized rooms. Then they were upstairs. Leading to the sky. And then leading to heaven. And then you saw Jesus. It is merely a reminder that you must work out your salvation with fear and trembling if you are to reach that place one day. Chitegeza, ntio ina okukola obloko zibo no wegende rezenyo na ama anigo na osoloku tuka mchifecho. Don't backslide. Toda mabega. Don't go back. Togwa. The Lord has shown you the mansions he talked about in John, John 14 verse 1 to 3. Katonda akulaze mansioni muzo gendo kufuna muyokane sule kumine nyoli yosoka paka kuloksa. Work for them. Bikole rere. By keeping your salvation. Go kumo obloko zibo. In Jesus' name. The next dream is coming from Jessica. Good evening, good evening, Pastor. Praise God, I'm Jessica. Almost every day I dream something, but two days ago I dreamt of my home economics teacher who passed away. I dropped out of school, but in the dream I was at school choosing a course to do so. So I chose to do catering. I was with my friends. I suddenly went to her and said, I've chosen home economics like I should have years ago. While she was still my teacher, we were very close friends. Jessica, your dream is very simple. It is about you making the right choice for your future. The revelation about this dream is that your destiny does not lie in your friends or your former teachers. Pray, seek God, and make a decision for yourself. That decision, when you make it, the Lord will bless it and it will take you directly to your destiny for a better life. If you choose catering as you dream, go ahead. If you choose to do something else, go ahead. But you are the one to make the choice for your destiny. And that choice you will make will be ordained by God. Thank you, Jessica. The next stream is coming from Slavia. Pastor, I'm Slavia. What does it mean to dream when being chased by the thief? When you are on border border, thank you, sir. This one is also very simple. This one Chino. is in reference of John 10, verse 10. Where the Bible says, The thief cometh not but to steal, to kill, and destroy. So it is the devil who is a thief. And you dreamt a thief chasing you on a border border. Okay. Because the meaning is not about border border. The meaning is on the thief. So the enemy is chasing after you. But the good thing is that you are ahead of him. And the reason why you are ahead of him is because you love God. Continue to love God. Continue to pray. Continue to seek God. Continue to fast. The enemy will not exact his hands upon you. He will chase you but he will not apprehend you. 
the devil will chase you but God will put uh, God will put a uh, um, 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 slippery road behind you so that wherever it's about to reach you he will sleep and fall that is the meaning of your dream Sylvia. the next dream is coming from Robin morning pastor I'm Robin I dreamt a tourism center of snakes really tourism center of snakes where my husband and his friend who is a lady were explaining the amount of food they eat and they served them with posho and beans 80 kilograms later I, re I realized group of people where they had cooked snakes and people were eating including my mom and my friend my friend forced me to eat the snakes and I picked a little but I didn't swallow. I had to spit it out. In the process, she started laughing at me and I went away. First of all, you need all of you to thank God for this dream interpretation platform. And please don't forget to support us financially. It is just tapping into the seminar. And please do so because we are doing the right job. We are interpreting these dreams. Robin snakes are symbols of witchcraft as I said earlier. Witchcraft witchcraft is sent in many different areas many ways some people are bewitched through things to eat are the women bewitch their husband through tea others in the underwears and they find you putting up your underwear somewhere so it moves in different ways but in this instance you, you must begin to be careful where you eat from and where you eat from if somebody made you to eat snacks and you vomited thank God but if you had not vomited the witchcraft would have uh, caught you so some of us we are careful of where we eat from because witchcraft is too much and moving through food so the Lord is trying to remind you that you need to fight witchcraft and also be security conscious avoid eating from, peop from people's places you don't trust well. And you will be safe. We are going to be praying for you and pray for yourself. You will be safe, Robin. Don't worry. The next dream is coming from Maria. Maria is the name of my daughter. Yeah. And Maria, there is a man who proposed to me, but I had a dream that I prepared for him tea, but it poured in the process. As I was preparing. As I was preparing something that I cannot remember while talking to someone, I saw him go out. I followed him, then saw him drinking a soda. I did not see him again. Maria, Maria. if you are not yet married to that man, please make thorough investigations about his life. I don't say that don't go ahead and marry him. But make thorough investigations about him. If you're already in marriage, uh, the, the, the meaning is different. But I'm assuming you are not married. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that you are not married. So if you are that, uh, make sure you make thorough investigations and make your own decision about him. Then after making sure that you have made thorough investigations, then make your own decision whether you are going for him or you are completely abandoning the relationship. This dream is about 
decision making Maria, Maria make a decision before you make it make thorough investigations about this man God bless you Maria the next dream is coming from Susan praise Jesus I'm Susan I dreamt when my colleague at work had a bunch of insects on the corner of her head kunkona what does it mean? Uh, Susan, in about a demetic and betrayal Uganda. Susan, as you have included a Luganda word, can I go for the Luganda? Let me also interpret you in Luganda. Ah, uh, sinu miru anyokuvu nulebiroto biabalala. I don't. I'm not interested in so much in interpreting other people's dreams. And especially when they are close friends, and most especially when they are concerning about your close friends, because the meaning of this dream is not good. But when I interpret it, because even the one whom you dreamt about may read it also. And it may bring confusion between or trouble between you and your co worker. But you can go ahead and inbox me privately. And I'll give you its good meaning. In Jesus' name. I'm just avoiding to interpret it because it involves your friend at the place of work. And I don't want to confuse that problem at your places of work. The next room is coming from Chris. Chris, praise God, I'm Chris. I had a dream when I was actually being asked what I was waiting for, yet churches are to be open next week. Please, it may sound insane. But serious. Chris, your dream is not very far away from the reality. Church is actually opening very soon. We are going on with training pastors, putting in on, putting on uh, uh, standard operation procedures. And we hope the next time the president speaks next week, he's like to talk about churches. So maybe the Lord showed you a little bit or it is just at the back of your mind that you are tired of not going to church. But places of worship are soon opening as you dreamt. So take courage. God is in charge. No sooner or later we shall go back to the houses of God to worship in Jesus' name. The next one is coming from Jay. I am Jay. J -A -J -A -Y. Jay. Jay. I'm Jay. I'm Jay. 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 When this is going to be Jay. I'm 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 Jay. I'm Jay. I dreamt when I was riding a bike and I overtook all the cars including my sister's car. I was the first to arrive to our destination. I also dreamt when I was decorating a cake. Then I saw myself pregnant and some lady was peeping to see if it's true. I went to a kiosk to buy something, but instead of paying with cash, I paid with my silver ring. Lastly, I saw three TV screens being watched by two married friends in the bedroom. What does that pastor mean? Number one, your dream means overtaking a car, riding on a bicycle means the spirit of excellency and divine speed. Not excellence, exceeding. Exceeding and divine speed. Basically and normally, you cannot ride a bicycle and you override a car. Unless the Lord gives you divine speed. Divine speed is when God quickens what you are doing beyond 
the normal natural speed. So in other words, the Lord is going to accelerate the level and the speed on which you are doing things. Sincerely speaking, the things you would have achieved in 10 years, you can achieve them in 3 or 4 years. So that is the meaning of your dream. Okay, the last dream for today is coming from Sharon. Pastor, I'm Sharon from uh, I'm Sharon. I dreamt I was in the house with my friends and daughter and my boyfriend and my boyfriend. But in the house there was a cat crying while coming to me. The cat was talking that it was going to the mother. Please, Pastor, what does that mean? Pray for me. I don't encourage cats talking because cats cannot talk. But cat talking is cat talking is uh, uh, is, uh, is a picture of clan spirits a mizimu jechika you need you need to disassociate sorry you need to disassociate yourself and separate yourself from the clan activities which arouses evil spirits in the clan. There are many gatherings in our families and clans which are planned to arouse evil spirit to familiarize us. They do certain rituals according to their traditions and clans. And by doing so, they raise up those spirits. That's why you saw this cut talking. Evil spirits talk. But they talk using people's mouths. So if you choose to avoid attending rituals in your family, no familiar spirit will come to you. But when you attend these rituals, you will be opened a point of contact for these spirits to jump on you. That is the meaning of your dream. In Jesus' name. We are stopping here today. And I'm going to be praying for you right away. But before I do so, I encourage you to give. Please give. And basically we give by mobile money. Send your offering. Send your financial seed. Send your donations. You can even send me a love offering. And say Pastor Mutebi, thank you. Number is 0759 75 Zero. Zero. The same number you used to send your dream. I am waiting. And let me pray for you for giving. Father, bless every giver. Bless every donor. Bless every supporter. Bless every financial source. And every tither. Those who are sending love offerings in appreciation of this ministry. Bless them, Lord. Even as they give. They are in direct contact with the anointing. May you anoint them, prosper them, and increase them. In Jesus' name. Amen. And amen. Thank you for giving. And now we pray for every dream. Father, we present them to you. Everyone who dreams, everyone I have interpreted, I bring to you Linda and Daniel and Jessica and Slavia, and, Slavia. and Robin, and, Robin. And, Maria. and Maria, and Susan, and, Susan. and Chris, and, Chris. And, Jay. and Jay, and Sharon. And Sharon. I bring them to you in the name of Jesus. And I start by destroying every evil, satanic, demonic dream against your lives in the name of Jesus. I rebuke them now in the name of Jesus Christ. I cancel them. I destroy them. I 
burn them with the fire of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus. You shall not exact upon God's people. In the name of Jesus. Every power of witchcraft. Every power of evil. Every power of sorcery. Every power of poverty. And confusion. And fear. And backsliding. I refuse you. I reject you. I burn you with the fire of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, be destroyed. In the name of Jesus, and I bring to you every good dream that your children dream. Give them divine speed. Help them, Lord. Bless them, Lord. Take them to their next level. Those who are not yet married, give them marriage. Those who need blessings. Bless them Lord. Give them promotions. Give them breakthroughs. Financial increase. Prosperity. Good marriages. In the name of Jesus. Father bless your children. Bless your children. And bless your children. In Jesus name. Amen. And amen. And amen. I want every one of you to say, I receive it. I receive it. And I receive it. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Don't forget. These dream interpretations. Are aired on Sunday on UBC at 5 o'clock. They are on WhatsApp. Every day, Monday to Sunday, apart from Saturday at 2 p.m. They are on Facebook, Facebook, on YouTube, YouTube, and on Instagram, Instagram. both in video and audio. audio. May God richly bless you. This is your brother and friend, Aaron Aaron Motebi, of the Dream World and on Dreamline. God bless you all. Amen.